you guys. Look at the path down to the barn. It's pure ice. Look at Gabby's already there. <laughs> she took this path on the snow. Pure ice. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Stella Bell. Good morning. Oh, isn't it crazy how you can just look at something and your heart feels happy? Uh-oh, what did you do? Huh? What did you do? Oh, no, she just, as soon as she walked in now, she drank it, she tried to eat it. So what did you do? I made her stand and wait. Good job, Gabby. So Stella is like the best one here. Well, Stella's the best, the best one, one of always. all of our horses. Whoa, did you do a hay already? To eat grain. You are awesome today. To eat grain, because hey. I told her off so many times. She yeah. Like, okay, lay down and walk away. Yeah. So good morning, guys. It is an icy winter wonderland today. Today we have riding lessons. You guys might not know. Oh, we no, have riding lessons on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> every single week. Every single week we have that many lessons. Some of them are all over the place in terms of schedule. Some Sam will take us, some not. But I'm excited to really get into it. Girls have added a group lesson to their regime they used to have two private lessons a week now they have one private one group and then gabby has the third lesson i have a private she has two, two privates. privates yeah and sophie would have two privates except for she doesn't want to ride with brandon because he scares her and yeah um so for all the people who think sophie was abusing finn yesterday you guys should know that all she was doing was putting her hand up saying and pushing him off of her it's disrespectful and rude for a horse to get in your space and more than that, it's dangerous. You guys might not know, but you should know if you've been watching for any length of time. But Finn doesn't understand the boundary rule yet. He he will run us over. So it's imperative, important, unbelievably important for her to be doing this. I'm super proud of her. If you actually watched the video, or maybe it's not evident, but if you were there, you'll know that Sophie is super gentle with him when she does that to him. She doesn't ever hurt him. And uh, he is not head shy. Um, we are doing the best that we can for our horses. We are not horse abusers. We are not animal abusers. We are not any of the things that you may think because Sophie put up her hand and pushed her horse off of her body. Yeah, so I was going to tell you guys that because I know it was not evident in our video. Yeah, because you know, she's not so super socialized yet. We need to, that's what we need to do this winter. We bombed her so. But we need to work on her. We need to work on her. So before we had Gracie, she was a lesson pony, which is amazing, but she probably just didn't have any one person or family for a while now, and she needs to be re... We need to trim her mane, it's grown like... We need to re... Uh, we need to bond with her, and we need to make her ours. It's grown like three inches. I love her with a long mane, oh, she's no. gorgeous. No oh, I love it. Comment below. Do you prefer her nice, gorgeous, long mane? We need to cut it. <laughs> Not outside. I think she looks like a Barbie pony. She wants to do anything. She's young, excited. She's just a year older than Finn. She wants to do stuff all the time. So if she thinks that she's going to get out and do stuff with us, oh my goodness, she gets excited. Not fair. What's not fair? Famous. Okay, let's go see Stella. Good morning, pretty lady. Hello. So Stella, for any of you guys who don't know, is the best horse we have. <laughs> She's my best horse. She is a family horse. She belongs to everybody. She belongs to all of us. Gabby rides her. Sophie rides her. I sometimes ride her. Once I get better, I'm going to ride her more. I feel like Stella deserves me to be a balanced good rider before I get back on her. But I do plan to canter her again. I plan to ride her again. She's like, oh no, not again. <laughs> anyway, they're waiting for breakfast. She has such an amazing horse. She has amazing ground manners. Never freaks out. And one thing is so crazy, two things. One, when we first started buying our horses, we needed bomb-proof, safe horses. If you could get, the closest you could get to that, that's what we needed. And our barn is filled with safe kid horses like they're like dogs they come when we call them they're friendly but 
now that our kids are starting to advance a little bit in the riding, we're starting to get more into more active horses like Finn, and then Gabby's going to get a new horse that's more advanced, more active, a little less like a puppy dog, and more like a horse. So our, we're going to be learning a lot in this next year. All right, let's do it. put them out here because there's not a lot of snow on the field right now. There's a lot of grass. I don't want Stella to be eating too much grass. It's icy like I showed you. I want them to be able to be in a safe spot so that they don't get hurt because that's what happens. There places. or there? There. I don't need to go. No way. I'm not going out there. Slippery and muddy. It is noon and, and Nick's my least favorite. And Gabby's telling me who her favorite brothers are. Yeah. Kyle because he got me star coins for Secret Santa. It all depends on what you buy them for Christmas. So, That's how they determine if and, you're their favorite brother. Um, Nick is the last one. Yeah, because they grew up with Nick. Favorite. Yeah. We grew up with him. He's horrible. Like, it's horrible. He like... Horrible. Except for when he's too lazy to do anything, but he has a bunch of candy, so we're like... <laughs> so he's like, here, I'll give you candy if you do this for me. Yeah, he's horrible because he like acts like, you know, a big brother and takes care of them, yeah. makes sure they behave. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't do that. He yells. <laughs> Nick and Gabby are like twins, you guys. The same Which age. Which is why we don't get along because we both think that we're the boss of the world, so that doesn't end well. Right, and they're both other. not the boss of the world. And one day they're going to be so close, it's going to be amazing. But anyway, we're waiting for Sophie. Like always, we are going to head out Can and you go. Close that door, Mom. It's yeah. Cold. Close we're going to we're going to head out and we're going to go. Come on. We're gonna head out and we're gonna go to Starbucks. We haven't been there for a long time. Starbies. But we're just feeling like sometimes in the middle of winter when the weather gets bad and you just feel dragged down and you just feel like you need something. So we're gonna go to Starbucks and fill all of our depressed dark days with caffeine. That's what we're gonna do, right Gabby? Yeah. Pray for us though, because the roads are kind of slippy, slippery. The schools all got closed today. But no, usually, it's not the roads, it's the driveways. No, but usually what happens is that they put salt on the roads later in the day, but it's too late for the school buses, so that's how come schools get canceled. Where the heck is Sophia? <gasps> Hi! Look at this handsome boy! Hi! He was excited when we came in. He's like, whoo, who's that? Boo! Are you coming? Come see Nana. This is his domain, you guys. All his toys, his fun colors. This is what happens to your house when you have a baby. Hi. Okay, watch. You guys don't know he can walk. Oh, yay. He can walk. Come here. Come here. It's Nana. Look. Nana has keys. Come on. <laughs> He's like, you can't win me over that easy. Mick, stand him up. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. It's the magical moment that baby Jack walks. He walked before he turned 10 months old. And now he is 11 months. He's not 11 months. Not 11 months. Only just 10 months. He has till almost Christmas. He's like, where are the girls? He knows where they're here. Come here. Come on. Here he comes. Jack! Jack, this way! Come to Nana! Jack! Come here. Uh, he sees Sophie. Hello! <laughs> he looks like an 80 year old man. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> 
need your pants rolled up. Sophie, what did you get? Green. Yeah, I think it does. I got vanilla bean frappuccino. What did you get? Uh, salt. Salted caramel hot drink. I don't know. Salted caramel something. Snapchat yeah. deletes the text. Oh, she had to text Kaylee and ask Kaylee what she what she gets. What'd you get, Nick? I know, but I should have got what you got because you know what you're ordering. What'd you get? Strawberry lemonade. This would not be a store I could work at. All the would be too hard for me. Gabby is riding Mr. Finn and she is in me off again. purple. What color is that? Plum. 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 And she said today Finn is going to wear an ear bonnet. An ear bonnet. And Sophie said he's going to buck daddy off. He's going to buck he's you off. He's worn ear bonnets before when he's ridden. Yeah. So we'll see. So he'll be fine. He's either going to be broken and sick. Comment below right now if you think he's going to try and buck Gabby off. I just want you guys to know or we are going I for... I just want you guys to know that he has tried. <laughs> he has never ever bucked me off. No. Ever. He's bucked How me off. Oh, wait, yeah, once. Once. How many when times? I was hanging on his side and he's like, get off! Yeah. <laughs> and I was like... You fell off hanging of on. Yeah, yeah, I fell off of him twice. Mm. We are headed to the barn for our... Um, nighttime lesson. It's gonna be freezing. I have four layers. I look extra fat. I look extra fluffy. Yeah, you do. I know. You I look extra. Chubby. Yeah, I do. Chubby, like fat. I got it all on. What the heck? I got a lot of layers, and I'm pouring sweat. I gotta get outside. We're here. It's pitch black. The girls have to go catch the boys. Poor Finn. That storm won't let him in the shelter. It's been raining all day. That is so frustrating to me. This makes me want to scream. Finn, uh, I'm so sorry. Oh my. Oh, what a mean brother you have. No, he's underneath the overhead. It doesn't matter. He's so wet. We need a towel to dry him off. Storm. Oh my goodness. Oh. How are we gonna? That is just terrible. I'm so sorry. He's warm. It's hard when when living conditions are miserable, huh? Like our girl stayed nice and dry today. He's he's dry everywhere, but the parts of him that were exposed. I'm sorry, handsome. I'm so sorry. We have a neck. I feel like I feel like Finn like I feel like Finn's like oh thank God you came. And sometimes I feel like when we make things better for him, he's more accepting. I just wish I had a blanket to dry him off. So today in this lesson. Sophie's not having a group lesson because there's no room in that lesson. So she's riding before her, but she is eventually going to be in that group. How do I pick this? I don't think you pick his front feet. So I'll show you guys what the farrier so did. Watch out, Soph. So if you can see, I he have to do the other feet. built up the back and yeah, he built up the back if you can see. Okay, just check and make sure there's nothing in there. That's all. He built up the back so that he it, it it balances the weight a little better for him because he was getting bruises and 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 a little bit tiny bit of pain and so he's coming back on Wednesday to fix that again because he's not completely finished with what he needed to do. He ran out of supplies, so he's coming back on Wednesday. He's gonna come here, finish that for Storm, and then Storm should be awesome. So it's the same material. I know. We need to bring towels. We need coolers. Yeah. They dry up better. Yeah. But I had that in my grooming box. So I'm like, oh, it's just banana. He wants treats already. Oh, he's sticky. I know. I might have to put more salt he in He wants this. my treats. Okay, hurry up. Get ready there. You have to do, remember what you did on Saturday. I want to see you just jump without being scared. We are home from the barn. It is 9.17, so super late. I just wanted to tell you guys that... I had a great lesson. When push comes to shove, 
and crazy things like what happened today with both of my girls um, happen, I am so grateful to have you guys to share it with. Like today I was feeling really frustrated with the comments and and then when I saw all the things that happened with Finn today when I saw everything that happened with Finn, it was so crazy for me and I was so excited. I was like, I cannot wait to share. And I think the reason is, is because so many of you guys are invested in our horses as much as we are, it feels like. And so I know it'll mean as much to you as it does to me. And so I just wanted to say thank you for that. But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't seen the girls' lesson videos, watch for them. They'll be up on this channel. Um, watch them because both girls had crazy lessons this week. Um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.